we are going to establish a narrow view that the title of the bill has to be so strictly connected that every jot and tittle has to include the word, every paragraph has to include the word insurance, uh, you're really going to hamstring the legislature. Uh, relating to health insurance at its core uh, was helping people afford health care. That was always very clear to me, I thought it was very clear to my colleagues. We've got an uninsured population that is getting health care delivered, sometimes not at all, often inefficiently. So we were trying to craft ways to cover people to get them care and, and treatments uh, for their various issues. And in this case, uh, we've got we've got a, a black market and some religious communities that are having home births uh, completely outside of the system. Uh, we have uh, families that are opting to uh, go deliver in a hospital against their will, but because that's the only place uh, that the law allows them and they can get it covered by the taxpayers. That is nonsensical to me. So uh, the other very clear connection with all of this to me happens uh, through the Need Sharing Ministries language. Uh, need Sharing Ministries are not health insurance. They do help people afford coverage. The, the, the subscribers to these Need Sharing Ministries, uh, they can get their, there's actually a copay if you go into the hospital, $300, and the Need Sharing Ministry will help you pick up the bill. If you use a midwife in Missouri under this law, there's no copay, and the other people in the need sharing ministries uh, will bear a cost of about two or three thousand dollars, rather than tens of thousands in the hospital. So all the subscribers to the need sharing ministries that do not have health insurance policies are covered in this bill and will lose if this is struck. Down. Senator, you heard a judge ask if this was about access to insurance. Does that access to insurance now exist? Can you answer that question? Is there insurance for the service of a midwife available today in the state of Missouri? Well, there is insur an insurance-like product called Need Sharing Ministries that does provide that access, does provide that coverage. And that's, again, it's Need Sharing Ministries, but again, I don't want to mislead anybody. The Need Sharing Ministries do not fall under the insurance statute. But you're saying something like United Healthcare. Uh, my understanding is that uh, United Healthcare uh, specifically, uh, I had somebody come to me along through all this process and say, gee whiz, I had United Healthcare in uh, the state I came from, and United Healthcare covered my home birth. So, but they don't in Missouri? They can't in Missouri because it's illegal. Can you make an issue? What was the question that came up? Standing with the doctors. Is there an economic issue for the doctors? Would you go so far as to say that that's what this is all about? Really, when you get down to the bottom line? Well, you know, I can only take their words. They constantly deny that it has anything to do with it. Senator, thank you. Thank you. Professional associations, you know, it's an economic competitor. Um, I think for individual positions that are opposed, a lot of times it's just a lack of. You know, it's just ignorance. They, if you've never met a midwife, don't really know what they do. It just sounds like a bad idea since they're not familiar with it. I think a lot of it is just a general lack of knowing what it's all about. So um, I think that when physicians actually meet midwives, find out what they do, how they're trained, I think that for most of them, they realize they're not such a bad idea. And they, you know, if they actually take time to look at the medical research, they can see that the outcomes midwives have are, you know, they're achieving outcomes equal to what physicians are having. And so there's not a danger issue there, like they would be led to believe on the surface. So I think it just comes down to educating the public, educating the physicians about who their wives are and what they do. Is this kind of David versus Goliath type story when you're small and the medical association want to be fine? Yeah, it definitely has. That's been, you know, home birth families baking cookies, having bank sales, trying to raise money, well, the, you know, to fight the well funded medical lobby. So yeah, it's a big difference there. You think, unfortunately, there's a lot of midwives out there who give you guys a bad rap? I don't think so, no. Um, I think overall, you know, midwives are well-trained and they know what they're doing. Um, and I think that they exercise caution in the cases that they take. And, you know, I think the midwives do a good job. I think all the medical research shows that. You know, the CPM 2000 study that was published in the British Medical Journal shows that they have excellent outcomes. And so I think, you know, of course, there's always going to be some people in every profession who may not be doing what the profession was meant to be, but you know, when you look at the research, 
the research shows that midwives obtain excellent outcomes. And so, yeah, I don't see that as a problem. Opponents of midwifery, such as uh, Chuck Graham, have railed against lay midwives. But uh, we're talking here about certified professional midwives. Could you talk about the difference? And are, are there any organizations that are actually like trying to propose that lay midwives be, be legal? No, what this law is about is about certified professional midwives. Um, certified professional midwives are not lay midwives. They're midwives who've been trained and they're certified by a national organization. They've taken national board tests. Um, they're recognized and licensed in 22 states and not prohibited in other states. You know, Missouri is an unusual state in that we prohibit them and actually make them felons here. Um, lay midwives, you know, there's really no way to quantify how they've been trained, who they are. Um, and that's something the Medical Association likes to throw around, like, oh, the lay midwives. And that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about certified professional midwives that have had education and training and have met a national standard and you know, that have demonstrated excellent outcomes whenever you look at their statistics. Are you optimistic that it will become legal? Yeah, I think so. I think that every day you know, we see that, even just in the public arena, that more and more people are learning about midwives. And you know, everything from the national media, Ricky Lake's new documentary, The Business of Being Born, midwives have been in the media, people are hearing about them, people are talking about them. You know, I find it just going out to a restaurant or whatever, you know, there's people talking about midwives, and I think that they're becoming, you know, more and more of a word that people are understanding who midwives are and what they do and that they're a good thing. And I think that Missouri is eventually going to catch up to the times, hopefully sooner rather than later.